Hello friends in the last video i have concentrated on top 25 indian history books and it has got a very good response from the audience therefore in continuation i thought of presenting the good number of books written on the history of south india so that we'll have a complete picture of our country the region south of the vindhyas up to the cape of kanyakumari has been called south india and its history spans a timeline starting in the prehistoric times to right up to the 18th century leaving a significant footprint on the socio cultural aspects of the region this region referred to as dravida as is used in the national anthem of india was considered to be undisputed in the ancient era by the invaders until the british entered this region during its long history a number of dynastic kingdoms ruled over parts of south india and the muslim conquest in the indian subcontinent across the south and southeast asia impacted the history and culture in those regions the major dynasties established in south india include the cheras cholas pandyas Pallavas, Satavahanas, Chalukyas, Rashtrakutas, the Kingdom of Madurai, Bahmani, Deccan Sultanates, Kakatiyas, Kadambas, Hoysalas, Zamorin, Vijayanagar, Maratha Empire, Trivancore, Arakkal and Mysore. Europeans entered India through Kerala and South India was colonized under the Portuguese India and the British Raj. The Hyderabad state ruled by the Nizams was the last princely state of India. The dividing line between the North and South India or the Vindhyas and their nearby forest. This is the reason why there were no free communication between the North and the South because of which all attempts to unite India under one rule during the ancient and medieval times failed therefore the effects of the political changes in north india did not affect south india very much but it does not mean that the north and the south remained entirely separated from each other emperor ashoka and samudragupta extended their empires and spheres of influence to the south similarly The Rashtrakutas and the Cholas from the south attacked North India and temporarily influenced the politics of the north. Though the political relations between the north and south India remained transitory, they remained more involved with each other culturally as compared to their political relations and therefore developed a similar cultural trends and values of life the administrative pattern religion philosophy social structure and moral values which were evolved in northern india were accepted by the south preserved and further developed and then in course of time returned back to the north south india has contributed magnificently in the growth and enrichment of indian fine arts such as music dance culture sculptures and painting thus it played an important role in extending indian culture beyond its frontiers particularly in southeast asia and thereby in the formation of what has been described as greater india besides all these south india is famous for its richness in food clothing culture and beautiful people thus modern india owes much to the south in these fields and south india has not only enriched indian culture in different fields but has also succeeded in preserving it a very famous historian k a neelagandha shastri accepts it when he writes from the prehistorical times to the present day there has been no period when the two regions did not influence each other politically and culturally the contribution of south india to indian culture is remarkable but it is a fact that 
there had been less emphasis on the study of the history of South India as compared to the history of North India. But it is definitely realized that the more we would probe into the history of the South, the greater would be its significance in the history and culture of India. And it is proved by the fact that there exists an excellent array of knowledge in the form of books which would enlighten every citizen of India about the importance of South Indian history. Here are some great South Indian history books in a chronological sequence of its year of publication that gives us brilliant knowledge in enjoyable prose. And I am sure it will help to understand the history of South India and its impact on the rest of India and the outside world as well. Come, let us explore one by one. Historical Sketches of the South India Written by Mark Wilkes Published in the year 1817 by the Cambridge University Press The Beginnings of South Indian History Written by a famous historian S. Krishnaswamy Iyengar Published in 1918 by the Modern Printing Works the famous historian of South India, K. A. Nilaganda Shastri's book, The Pandian Kingdom from the Earliest Times to the 16th Century, published in 1929 by Swati Publications. Again, K. A. Nilaganda Shastri has written a book on a history of South India from prehistoric times to the fall of Vijayanagar, published in 1955 by the famous Oxford University Press. The South Indian Polity, written by T. V. Mahalingam, published in 1955 by the University of Madras. K. A. Nilaganda Shastri has written a book on the development of religion in South India, published in 1963 by Orient Longman. Again, another important book by K. A. Nilaganda Shastri, is the foreign notices of South India from Megasthenes to Ma Huan, published in 1972 by one of the famous university of India, Madras University. Vengata Ramanappa has written a book on outlines of South Indian history, published in 1975 by the Vikas Publishing House. You would have all heard about C.J. Baker, he has written a book on the politics of South India, published by the Cambridge University Press in 1977. R. Sundaralingam has written a book on politics and nationalist awakening in South India between 1852 and 1891, published in the year 1980 by Ravar Publications. Another famous author, Burton Steen, has written a book on Peasant State and Society in Medieval South India, published in 1980 by the famous Oxford University Press. The Political Structure of Early Medieval South India, written by K. Seven Veluthath, is another important book, published in 1993 by the Orient Longman. As I said before, South India was a famous maritime power during the ancient and medieval times and R. Champaka Lakshmi has written a book on trade, ideology and urbanization South India between 300 BC to AD 1300, published in 1996 by the Oxford University Press. The famous author R. Nagasami has written a book on Studies in South Indian History and Culture, published in 1997 by V. R. Ramachandra Dikshidhar Centenary Committee. The next important book is The Vijayanagar Voices, Exploring South Indian History and Hindu Literature, written by William J. Jackson, published in 2005 by Rutledge. Richard M. Eaton has written a book on a social history of the Deccan between the period 1300 to 1761, published by the Cambridge University Press in 2005. 
history through the lens perspectives of south indian cinema written by s theodore baskaran published by orion black swan in 2009 recently one of the famous historian noburu karashima has concentrated much on the south indian history and he has written a book called south indian society in transition ancient to medieval published by kenneth R Hall in 2009 Neelaganda Shastri Champaka Lakshmi and Rajan Gurukal has written a very important book The Illustrated History of South India published in 2009 by the Oxford University Press Another book written by Rajan Gurukal is The Social Formations of Early South India published by the Oxford University Press in 2010 The historians of Tamil Nadu would have remembered the famous personality Y Subbarayalu who has written a book called The South India Under the Cholas published in 2011 by the Oxford University Press. Another important and interesting book is The Merchants of Tamilagam Pioneers of International Trade written by Kanagalata Mukun published by Penguin in 2012. Noburu Karashima has edited a book on a concise history of South India issues and interpretations published in 2014 by the Oxford University Press. Charles Allen has written a book on Coromandel a personal history of South India which seems to be an interesting book published in 2017 by Little Brown. The last and the final book is the modern south india a history from the 17th century to our times written by rajmohan gandhi published in 2018 by alep publishers yes we have come to an end of the list and this list will continue to grow further as and when the study of the past has been researched and written again and again history helps religions and communities to know where they came from and what their ancestors did it helps them to draw meaning to why things are the way they are people can trace their origins and traditions and they can teach them to future generations and this will help to preserve culture the study of history helps in understanding the people societies and nations and finally the whole humanity gets a sense of identity and belongingness the study of past causes the present and so the future the study of history on any level can potentially help to define our own identities the most common reason as to why students hate history is because they find it boring but if taught correctly history does not have to be boring the easiest way to enjoy learning about history is to figure out how historical events have impacted us personally we need to think about the events that have happened in our life and how they have impacted us once we start researching we would be surprised how quickly we start learning about the recent past thank you very much for watching i'll see you all in the next video with another important topic please like share and subscribe to this channel